Concerns from healthcare workers in the U.S. prompted today's CDC response. And the same questions are being asked across this country. Catherine Cullen is tracking that angle from Ottawa. Catherine? Wendy, health officials say it's unlikely that Ebola will hit Canada, but healthcare workers are asking whether we're well enough prepared if it does. <laughs> Staff at this Belleville hospital got it right, say officials, snapping into action when a man who was recently in West Africa showed symptoms of Ebola. And within four minutes, I'm proud to say he was put in appropriate isolation. But with nurses in Texas and Spain sick, the risk to healthcare workers is impossible to ignore. We're Canadians, so we always think, oh, it's not going to happen to us. Uh, it's next door. It's Texas. Nurses unions in Canada point out there have already been several false alarms here and warn that in a few cases, the protective gear wasn't good enough. The uh, suits, the sleeves are too short, the mask doesn't cover the full face, uh, aren't the suits ripping off and stuff like that. That's not okay. And it's not just having the right equipment. At this hospital in Halifax, they're learning how to put it on and remove it safely. You always go for most contaminated to, to cleanest, basically. But even demonstrations aren't enough, argues this emergency room doctor. Were I to see an Ebola patient in my emergency room tomorrow, I'm not convinced that I know how to put it on and take it off in a way that is foolproof because I've never done the hands-on drills with somebody watching me telling me whether I'm doing it right or wrong. And what about first responders like paramedics or firefighters? In Winnipeg, the firefighters say it's not a question of equipment, but rather the plan to put first responders into isolation if they come into contact with a potential Ebola patient. If we were to remove a firefighter right now, what would we do? Where are we going to put them? How long is it going to be? How are we going to backfill? And we're going to have to look after the logistics. Safety procedures were on the agenda today when Canada's chief public health officer spoke to his counterparts in the provinces and territories. They're all trying to spread the same message. Don't panic. The risk to Canadians remains low, adding they've learned lessons from past outbreaks like SARS. There's a small amount of additional personal protective equipment, which we are in the process of purchasing now. Uh, but the, uh, almost all of the infection control steps required are things that should be uh, uh, practice and the, and the equipment should be available on a day-to-day -day basis. And remember that man in Belleville who might have Ebola? Sources tell the CBC he's a member of the Canadian Forces who recently helped deliver equipment to Sierra Leone. Specifically, those face shields meant to help protect people from the virus. Wendy. Thanks, Catherine. Catherine Cullen in Ottawa.